Hey YouTube, Apostle Stacy here. I'm answering a few questions from the inbox, and I want to thank you guys for writing. Um, listen, um, I was asked a question. You pull up that email really quickly. It says, "Hello, Apostle Stacy." Hello. It says, "I'm curious to know, have you viewed the video that has been sweeping the internet like a raving fire in the last week? The video is called Why I Hate Religion but Love Jesus." If you haven't seen it and they gave me the address uh, and they said I asked this for the sake of asking your opinion and what has seemingly been the most discussed of opposition to this video uh, do you feel that Christianity is indeed a religion now I personally love the video and I agree with the author on many levels I don't usually get caught up on wordplay there are several response videos that have surfaced debating the topic I would just like to know your thoughts on the matter Blessings. Then they gave their name. Okay. Now, the thing is with me, uh, my whole policy is um, I love God and I love God's people. And if it does not like cause harm to people uh, and only promote, you know, the message of Christ. You know, I really try to leave it alone. In other words, I'm, I'm careful what battles I fight. But you know, I'm glad that you asked this. I, I, I wasn't going to comment on this video. I made the comment um, on a friend's page because, you know, while I do believe that they make really good points in the video of why I hate religion, I think we got to be careful in saying that we hate religion. And I'll tell you why. Because the Bible says in James uh, 1 and 27, and I'm sure this scripture has come up many times if this has been debated, but I have not um, watched any other, other videos or really asked anybody else for their opinion. But, I, you know, we got to be careful. Is it God's religion that we hate? Is it true religion that we hate? Or is it what religion has come? Is it what man has made religion? Because in James 1 uh, and verse 27, this is what it says. Religion that our Father accepts, okay, religion that our Father accepts, as pure and faultless is this, to look at the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Now when we look at that scripture, you know, it would suggest to us, and let me try to get another translation. Let me get the good old King James Version. In the King James Version, it says, pure religion, pure, pure religion, and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, and to keep themselves unspotted from the world. So really what this says is, God loves pure religion. He loves true holiness they be unspotted from the world that's true holiness and that's what God loves so, so to say you hate it hmm. and a lot of times you're right it is a word play it's a word play because what it, it gives you that shock factor it catches everybody's attention you know it gets everybody kind of on the edge of their seat because generally speaking Religion is, is something that people consider to be a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm looking up the word religion in the dictionary, um, in, on dictionary.com, and it says, Religion is the belief in and the worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal God or God. Um, and then the second definition is details of belief as taught are discussed okay and of course they give a whole lot of uh, other definitions like in Merriam-Webster it says the service and worship of God or the supernatural uh, the second definition is commitment or devotion um, and I'm waiting on the rest of it to load commitment or devotion okay so if you just simply use com commitment or devotion um, now that can be toward anything. I can be committed to making YouTube videos. And as you can see, I've been here since 2007. So it's safe to say that that's something I am committed to. So I can almost make my religion or my commitment or my devotion out of YouTube. 
which is of itself, you know, is not bad unless I exalt YouTube above God. And see, that's where we get into stuff. We get into stuff because, see, when you look at the word religion in some people, it says a personal set or institutionalized system of religious attitude, beliefs, and practices. And see, that's where we really kind of get into the heart of what this person is saying they hate. And I'm sorry that I have not done a whole lot of research about who wrote it. Um, but I'll try to put the link uh, at the bottom of the thing, I believe, um, to find who actually, yeah, who actually um, was the author of that. But, oh, okay, here it is. B Ball 1989. Wow, it has gotten a lot of views. Oh, goodness, looks like 15 million people have viewed this video already. And counting the ball 1987 and it's called why I hate religion but love Jesus and it kind of goes right into the uh, love God hate the church type of thing so you gotta just be careful and listen to what he's saying now what he's actually saying is that he hates the institutionalized system of attitudes beliefs and practices that Christianity has come to not to the world Christianity is a religion but of course, to a believer, uh, your relationship with Christ is what you focus on. Not necessarily just a way of doing stuff. Because we can be religious in brushing our teeth. I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. Okay, now I'm re religious because that's a, that's a set habit of doing something. That's my belief system. I'm committed to that, hopefully. <laughs> I'm devoted to that. That's what I do. I spend special time to practice that behavior. So I'm religious. And okay, I know a lot of people use religion um, as a negative word. Oh, that's religion. I'm not religious. I have a relationship with God. You know, and many times I have used that word. But you know, when I go back to the scripture in James 1 and 27, I know that the Father wants us to have pure religion. And let's just do a word search. Let's do a quick little word search. Because I'm also interested to find out what else the Bible says about religion, okay? Because I know religion is in the word of the Lord, okay? But it's referring to pure religion and not religion that is defiled by a system or by, you know, just a way of, of, of doing stuff, okay? Now, let's see. It talks about the Pharisees' religion. It talks about the Jews' religion, okay? Um, oh, let's look at what James 1 and 26 says. If a man, that's the scripture right above the one that I started reading in the opening. If a man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Then it goes into saying pure religion is undefiled before God. And the Father is this. To visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. So, you must have that true religion. You must have your soul converted. You must have that true religion. Oh, you can. Okay, we know the spiritual. Yes. So, I would be careful in making the blanket statement why I hate religion. But I do understand the point of the video. He hates religion and what it's become. He hates the false, uh, impure uh, thing that religion has become. And then he loves Jesus. The relationship with Jesus. Past a set of rules. Past a set of, you know, laws that you got to follow. And into relationship. So those are my two cents. Thank you so much for asking. I wasn't going to talk about it. But... You ask them, so there we go. Okay? You all be blessed. Continue to enjoy Jesus and all his stories. And thank you for making ministry possible.